this is an amazingly talented group. We heard from Doug about that. And of course, that's why you're here. That's why you're enrolled. I did see a lot of faces looking around saying, wow, I mean, who are those people? All those great credentials. Um, but let me just emphasize, the best part is not getting into college. And I know how nervous it is when you apply and you're waiting to get accepted. The best part is really the college experience. And I think that nowhere is this more true than Vanderbilt University. And you are going to find your time here the most exciting and intellectually stimulating and fun of your whole life. And that's our goal. Now, for all of you, it was really an emotional weekend. I was there on move-in day. As I always emphasize, I don't carry anything anymore. Uh, but I love to see the families trying to fit everything in the room and um, the emotional goodbyes with parents and families. But you are really beginning a great journey at Vanderbilt. College is a time of extraordinary opportunities. And those of us who remain on a college campus as professors, as deans, as other things, really just never wanted to leave school and loved the renewal every year of new students coming in. You learn about many new things, but more importantly, you really learn about yourself. You are about to be part of the most interesting, one of the most stimulating, fun places on our planet. I look forward to being with you on the journey. You'll probably see quite a bit of me. I'll see you in class. I'll see you over at the Commons. See you at Rand. See you at the bowl game we'll surely be going to at the end of this football season. Now, I, I have to say, I have to say every year Doug gets up here and, you know, someone won the Nobel Peace Prize in preschool and everyone's doing all these amazing things. I've never heard him say, and someone can kick 75-yard field goals. And I'm still waiting for that. But um, let me just offer a few words. You've gotten a lot of advice here, and I am a parent of college-age students. But I emphasize this is a special opportunity for me because I will not speak to you as a class again until your graduation on alumni lawn. So let me give you a very simple set of principles. Many of them you heard from the dean and Mrs. Ingram and others. The first is be curious and open-minded. That's what got you here. Stick with that. There's so much on this campus, so many things to take advantage of at this university. We're one of the very few universities where hospitals, clinics, a world cancer center are right here, within walking distance, closer than the rec center. You can volunteer. You can do research, work side by side with faculty, some of the best in the world. Listen to and engage each other and your professors. The most important thing is not simply what your professor teaches you in the classroom. You teach each other. And we at Vanderbilt believe strongly that the learning occurs as much outside of the classroom as in the classroom. Number three, nourish and treasure the friendships you make here. They will be lasting and special. My best friend is still my college roommate. And he taught me things that I didn't know existed in the world my first month in college. I will be forever grateful to him. Take care of each other. Value our community. It is what makes Vanderbilt unique. I remember a few years ago, I had a parent at graduation want to see me, and he brought his daughter in to see me. She was graduating. And a wonderful parent, and the child was eager to graduate, missing Vanderbilt, but wanting to move on into the world. And the parent sat with me in my office and said, I want to thank Vanderbilt for saving my daughter's life. And what had happened is his daughter had gotten sick, and she, her roommate thought she had the flu, and after one day said, this could be more serious. I'm taking you to the doctor. And the uh, student said, well, I don't need to go. This will go in one day. Turned out she was quite sick and her roommate saved her life. So your faculty live on the campus. We have small classes. We really care about you, but you live with each other. And you have to take care of each other and preserve our special community. I believe the community we call Vanderbilt is unique among colleges and universities. 
Pursue your interest, but broaden them and find out what your passion is. I always uh, emphasize, I look at the statistics, I take a survey every year. What percentage of you say you want to be a doctor? And it's like 60%. I mean, it's like I could bump into every doctor that I would possibly need by just walking around the freshman class. Well, the fact of the matter is, about 20% of the class leave to become physicians. The point is, you may have a dream coming in. I was going to be a great mathematician. I'm obviously not. I didn't think I was going to be a college president. Here I am. Broaden your horizons. Take classes outside of your area of interest. Don't get fixated on, I came to do this. You're only 18 years old. When I went to college and I was 18, I was 17, I was saying, I could hope I get to 18. My goal being a freshman was to be a sophomore. You can have grand plans, but pursue your interest. All of you, whether you're in Blair, Peabody, engineering, you're in an arts and science college. Stray from the path you think you have before you. If you find that passion, treasure it. It'll give your life meaning, not just now, but for the rest of your career. I want to welcome all of you. Welcome to the class of 2013. I am so proud to be your chancellor. I know we're going to have a great first year, and we're going to have a great college experience together. And I look forward to it. Thank you very much.